Welcome back to Good Morning Vail. We were just talking about some great mental health resources here in our community and what better way to kick off celebrating 140 years of our community than talking about all of the great powers and strengths that we carry. Well, we've got Claire Noble to give us some more information on 140 years of Eagle County. Good morning, Claire. Good morning. Thanks again for getting me up early this morning. Of I, love I was it. driving in this morning and it was actually a tequila sunrise. I don't know if Mark mentioned that because he said something about it being kind of orangey off to the east, mm -hmm. but I think that's what the drink looks like. I think it is too, and we got to see a like, brief little shot of it this morning, and I was like, wow, that is going to be spectacular when it comes in full force. And just before we kind of get into it, I did want to mention I just got an Everbridge alert from EC Alerts. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about EC Alerts yes. a lot on this show, but Glenwood Canyon is closed westbound at mile marker 130. So if you're heading west, you might want to take an alternate route or just give it a little bit of time. See, these are good things to know. And really quickly, if people do not know what EC alerts are and they're traveling, maybe visiting our town, but they're kind of wondering what's going to happen on that I-70 corridor eastbound as they're trying to make their way home and we're in this winter weather advisory, how can they sign up for EC alerts? Visit ecalert.org and you can sign up. And then you're going to need to download the Everbridge app to your phone and you'll get all of these alerts for different kinds of uh, traffic issues like Vail Platte Pass closes or there's an accident in Frisco or Dow Junction or wherever. You're going to get an alert. Which makes it so much better if you're traveling because then you can know exactly what you're going to expect. I've had so many people that were out here visiting that have missed their flights home because they were like, oh, it's going to snow. We're going to leave four hours early. Yeah. And then and there's an accident. Yeah, and it wasn't enough. The other thing I like to do, see a trip. Dot, mm -hmm. dot org as well. You go there and you can look at the cameras. That's for me, like if I'm traveling yes. to Grand Junction, I'm going to look at the cameras along the way and just see what I'm in for. Yeah, the entire visual. And so these are some great resources that you can use, whether it is cotrip.org or co.gov, and then of course the EC Alerts. And then you can call 511, which is the statewide hotline. That way you get all that great information. Now let's talk 140 years. Yeah, I know. This wasn't even what we were going to talk about today. <laughs> Eagle County on February 11th turns 140 years, wow. 1883 to 2023. So we're celebrating all year long. And kind of the centerpiece of the celebration is a then and now photography exhibit, which we're kind of putting the finishing touches on right now. And we tried to capture the different communities of Eagle County. Right. And so I think if people come see this exhibit, and it's going to kick off at Colorado Mountain College on February 8th, and then it's going to travel around the valley. So then the next month it'll be at the Eagle Public Library, and then it'll be at the Vail Public Library in April, and a few other libraries around the valley. And I'm actually going to try to have it at the rodeo for anybody who's going to be visiting the rodeo. If you didn't get over to one of the libraries, you'll be able to see it there. But you'll... I think you'll have a lot of reactions to this. You'll see how some things have changed a lot, yes. like Edwards, or <laughs> you'll, have, you'll also see things that didn't change at all. Bond hasn't changed much. Or places that were more populated before, like McCoy, less populated now. Um, so I think that'll be kind of the fun thing about the exhibit. What changed, what stayed the same, what things are always the same. There's a great photo of the one-room schoolhouse in Avon, and We've recreated that photo with Avon Elementary today. Wow. See, I think those are always so cool when you get to see the progression of like where it started and where it is now. And I just think that this is going to be such a unique experience, especially because so many of these pictures are 35 millimeter camera or a more challenging camera to shoot on. And you guys have these incredible film prints. Yeah, thanks for even mentioning that. We've got a great photographer, Dylan Brown, who's been taking all the now photos for us mm -hmm. and putting them together in a side-by-side. -side. Now, this picture, um, we couldn't recreate this one, so we're right. using it in our advertising. <laughs> You've probably seen this photo before, but that's Mintern. That was the Mintern roundhouse, and this train lurched and went right through the wall. And now people showed up to take their photos with it. But this lets you know that this uh, kickoff is happening on February 8th at 5.30 at Colorado Mountain College. Steph, our graphic designer, did an awesome logo that we'll be using on all of our branding throughout the year. 
Which that picture is just one of the mini brief flashbacks on history that you can look on because you go and you walk the Minturn Railroad and you can see, you can like physically see all of these pieces of history on it, like the big boulders and everything. So it's so fascinating thanks, to see these Yeah, pictures. thanks for bringing that up because that also reminds me, if you think about how much we've changed in 140 years, you go back to 1883, what were the industries of Eagle County? You had railroads, you had mining, ranching, sheep herding, agriculture, and there's a little bit of that remaining, but for the most right. part, we've completely changed to real estate, outdoor recreation, that kind of that kind of industry. And my favorite history saying is you don't know you don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been. And so as a community, what a cool opportunity to see how we started as a place like Minturn or Avon or Vail. And then the history of progression through the times because we spend a lot of time focusing on Vail Mountain with our history yes. here as a whole, whether it's through the Colorado Snow Sports Museum or any of these other great alternatives that we do to really bring it to life and highlight the 10th Mountain Division. But what a cool way to see our entire county. Yeah, you know, and the thing about the skiing and snow sport museum is this is great information. It's more near history. And right. so this exhibit's going to delve a little bit more into our more distant history. And why they call it Beaver Creek. Like, that's such a cool piece of history. And why do they call it Beaver Creek? Because there were so many trappers up there, mm -hmm. and that creek was so, like, frequent with the beavers that you could trap them up there super easy to avoid them eating the lettuce. So I'm glad you brought up the trappers because another thing we're doing as part of this celebration is we're making coloring books for kids oh, based on these, not these photos, but photos from our archive of people. So the, the then and now exhibit really tends to be landscapes and buildings, right. but the coloring book is the colorful people of Eagle County. The old timey skiers, the cowboys, the farmers, the fishermen that lived up here. And we, you know, can't wait to get this finished and get it distributed to the kids of Eagle County. Now, as people are interested, and you guys are going to kick all of this fun off here in February, if they want to find where the photo exhibit is, so that way they can make their way and see it at any of the great locations, where can they kind of follow along with its traveling? Yeah, so we'll have a dedicated website on our county website. So eaglecounty.us, you'll be able to find all of the activities where the then and now photo exhibit is happening and other things we're going to be doing later on in the spring. We have a project with one of the high schools to plant 140 seedlings wow. as kind of a, a way to honor 140 years of Eagle County as well. Claire, thank you so much for coming in, giving us all this great information and thanks for really celebrating Eagle County in the best way possible. Thanks for having me on, Maddie. Make sure that you check out the Eagle County website. That way you can follow the photo exhibit because there's no better way to really experience our community than these flashbacks to the past. Now we're going to take a short break and when we come back we're going to go check in with Mark.